हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ लेसन नंबर फाइव टूवर्ड्स ग्रीन एनर्जी नाउ लेट अस सी द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ दिस लेसन सी हर द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज अबाउट द एनर्जी फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एनर्जी मीन्स वॉट एनर्जी इज द कैपेसिटी ऑफ अ फिजिकल सिस्टम टू डू वर्क और इट इज द एबिलिटी टू डू वर्क इट मीन्स इन शॉर्ट एनर्जी मीन्स वॉट एबिलिटी टू डू वर्क एनर्जी कम्स इन टू बेसिक फॉर्म्स नो विच आर द टू बेसिक फॉर्म्स आर देयर बाय विच वी गेट द एनर्जी इन दैट द फर्स्ट वन इज द फर्स्ट फॉर्म इज पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड द सेकेंड फॉर्म इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी नो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मीन्स वॉट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मीन्स द एनर्जी पजेस्ड बाय अ बॉडी ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ इट्स शेप कॉन्फिगरेशन और पोजिशन और एनी टाइप ऑफ स्टोर्ड एनर्जी इज कॉल्ड एज पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इट मीन्स पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मीन्स वॉट स्टोर्ड एनर्जी इज नोन एज द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी द थर्ड वन द नेक्स्ट वन फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इज काइनेटिक एनर्जी काइनेटिक एनर्जी मीन्स द एनर्जी पजेस्ड बाय अ बॉडी ड्यू टू इट्स मोशन ओके हाउ इट फॉर्म ड्यू टू इट्स मोशन इज कॉल्ड एज काइनेटिक एनर्जी डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी नाउ विच आर द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स आर देयर बाय विच वी कैन गेट द एनर्जी इन दैट मैकेनिकल एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज देयर केमिकल एनर्जी इज देयर लाइट एनर्जी इज देयर हीट एनर्जी साउंड एनर्जी आर द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी दैट वी यूज इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ लॉज ऑफ कॉन्जर्वेशन नाउ सी द लॉ ऑफ कॉन्जर्वेशन एनर्जी कैन नाइदर बी क्रिएटेड नॉर बी डिस्ट्रॉइड इट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम वन फॉर्म इन टू द अनादर एंड धस द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी इन द यूनिवर्स रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टंट फॉर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू गिव वन एग्जाम्पल हियर एनर्जी कैन नाइदर बी क्रिएटेड नॉर बी डिस्ट्रॉयड बट इट कैन कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम वन कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम वन फॉर्म इन टू द अनादर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन वी ऑन द टी वी एट दैट टाइम वॉट एवर इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी इज देयर इट गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द लाइट एनर्जी एंड द साउंड एनर्जी इट मीन्स वन फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू द अनादर फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी एंड देर फॉर the total amount of energy in the universe remains constant and this is known as the law of conservation now let us see the next one point about the electromagnetic induction most of the electric power plant are based on the electromagnetic induction which is invented by the michael faraday now what is the meaning of electromagnetic induction according to this whenever magnetic field around the conductor changes a potential difference is generated across the conductor and electrical energy is produced now which are the methods which are the processes are there by which electromagnetic uh, field uh, around the conductor changes in that the electromagnetic or magnetic field around the conductor changes in two ways the first one is when conductor is stationary and magnet is rotating and second one when magnet is stationary and conductor is rotating at that time only magnetic field around the conductor changes and according to the principle of electromagnetic induction when magnetic field around the conductor changes potential difference is generated across the conductor and electricity is generated here you can see the structure of electromagnetic induction in that lines of flux are there it is a magnetic field and it is rotating magnetic field is there and in that it is connected to the coil and voltmeter now let us see the next one point about the steam turbine if you want to see the structure of steam turbine steam turbine means the turbine which rotate by using the steam when steam is derived on the blades of the turbine it starts to drive or starts to rotate and the steam having the high velocity when it derived on the blade it starts to rotate 
uh, here in middle you can see the wheel and shaft are present and these are the blades by which that turbine starts to rotate with high velocity steam now let us see the next diagram is about the schematic of electric generator now what is the use of generator generator is useful to convert the mechanical energy into the electric energy now mechanical energy means it is the addition of potential energy or the kinetic energy it is the it is known as the mechanical energy now generator is useful for which purpose to convert the mechanical energy to the electrical energy in generator rotating electric magnet is there which is connected to the turbine and when turbine starts to rotate at that time this connected rotating electric magnet also starts to rotate there and through that electricity is generated it means mechanical energy get converted into the electric energy so generator generated electrical energy which is uh, this this is a one type of machine which uses the principle of electromagnetic induction now the next one point is about the flow chart showing generation of electrical energy now in this flow chart in this chart we will see how electrical energy is generated by using the principle of electromagnetic induction now in that the first one thing which one is important here generator for which purpose to convert the mechanical energy into the electrical energy now this generator is connected to the turbine for which purpose because whatever magnets are rotating magnets are present these are uh, connected with the turbine and this turbine is useful to rotate the magnets present in the generator to drive the turbine proper energy source is necessary it means any type of fuel is necessary for which purpose to rotate the turbine to drive the turbine so this is the chart showing the generation of electrical energy what you can see here proper energy source to run the turbine after that turbine is connected to the generator and whatever magnets rotating magnets are there present in the generator it uh, starts to rotate when turbine starts to drive or starts to rotate and through that whatever mechanical energy is there it get converted into the electrical energy now let us see the next one point about the thermal energy based electric power station okay now in that first you can see as a fuel coal is useful for it fuel coal just type of point you can see here whatever energy is released after the burning of coal it is useful to boil the water here in second box you can see boiler for conversion of water to steam it is connected to the boiler where water starts to boil by using the energy uh, which is released from the or released after the burning of coal after that whatever steam is produced the energy of steam is useful to rotate the turbine so the name given as the steam turbine why name given as a steam turbine because for drive the turbine steam is useful for it when steam derive on the blades of the turbine turbine starts to rotate and after that this turbine is connected to the generator when it starts to rotate generator also starts to rotate there and by which mechanical energy get converted into the electrical energy if downside uh, one box uh, if you will observe here in that system for converting steam back to water it means condensation by using the condensation method whatever Uh, steam is come here again in this uh, system for converting steam back to water it get again con uh, converted into the water and it is again useful to form the steam which is useful to drive the turbine here we can see uh, energy transformation in thermal power plant in thermal power plant thermal energy is useful as a fuel okay so how energy transformation takes place in this thermal power plant about that chart is here now in this chemical energy in coal 
which type of energy is present in the coal chemical energy in the coal it get converted into the thermal energy why because this chemical energy we use to boil the water and after the boiling of water this chemical energy get converted into the thermal energy means heat energy this thermal energy get converted into the kinetic energy in steam because it when it derives uh, in uh, get con it get converted into the kinetic energy and this kinetic energy in steam get kinetic get converted into the kinetic energy in turbine because when steam derived on the blades of the turbine at that time turbine blades of the turbine starts to rotate and it becomes the kinetic energy in turbine and this kinetic energy in the turbine get converted into the electrical energy with the help of generator so this is the energy transformation in thermal power plant now the next one point is about the schematic of thermal power plant observe this schematic if you will see here combustion gases to stock this is the uh, fuel and air is present here it is boiler which is connected with the pump and after that one generator is there for the conversion of mechanical energy into the electrical energy and below of it condenser is there to convert the steam into the water and this from this cooling tower is there from which vapor and uh, that hot gas is released and cooled water comes downside here now the next one point is about the nuclear fusion now nuclear in nuclear fusion this is useful to produce the large amount of energy now if you will see the structure now how energy is produced in the nuclear fusion in that neutron is bombarded on atom of uranium if you will see here u235 and 92 huh? it is known as the uranium the neutron is bombarded on uranium atom after, after, uh, when neutron is bombarded on uranium it absorbs that neutron and get converted into the isotope of uranium now isotope means what when it get converted into converted into the isotope 235 becomes the 236 because one neutron is absorbed by the uran uranium and this uh, isotope is extremely unstable so it is extremely unstable therefore by using the nuclear fusion it gets converted into the atom of barium and atom of uh, krypton and with that three neutrons are also formed with the energy of 200 mev okay so this is useful this nuclear fusion is useful power plant based on the nuclear energy now how it is useful here in power plant based on the nuclear energy nuclear reactor is used for the nuclear fusion now nuclear reactor means what it is a one type of machine by which energy uh, is released by the nuclear fusion and this is connected to the system for steam generation from water it means this nuclear in fusion whatever energy is released by the nuclear fusion it is useful to boil the water by which steam is produced this steam whatever energy is released from the steam or this steam is directly derived on the turbine which is useful to drive the blades of the turbine this turbine is connected to the generator this generator is useful to convert the mechanical energy into the uh, electrical energy okay here in turbine which type of energy is released kinetic energy which get converted into the electrical energy and there is a one type of system for conversion of steam back into the water by using condensation method we can convert the steam into the water here which as a fuel which two atoms are useful for the nuclear fusion uranium or the plutonium now uh, we will see the energy transformation in nuclear power plant how energy get transferred about that flow chart is here in this nuclear energy of the uh, which is produced in the nuclear reactor it get converted into the thermal energy because this whatever energy is released in the nuclear uh, fusion 
इट इज यूजफुल टू बॉइल द वॉटर विच गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द थर्मल एनर्जी दिस थर्मल एनर्जी गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन स्टीम बिकॉज वॉट आफ्टर द बॉइलिंग ऑफ वॉटर दिस गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द स्टीम एंड धीस वॉट एवर थर्मल एनर्जी इज देयर इट गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन द स्टीम धीस काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन द स्टीम बिकम्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन टर्बाइन वेन इट डिराइव ऑन द ब्लेड्स ऑफ द टर्बाइन एंड बाय यूजिंग द जनरेटर धीस काइनेटिक एनर्जी गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सो दिस इज द एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन न्यूक्लियर पॉवर प्लांट दिस इज द स्कीमेटिक ऑफ न्यूक्लियर पॉवर प्लांट ऑब्जर्व दिस केयरफुली हियर न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर इज देयर विच कंट्रोल द पॉट्स आफ्टर दैट इट इज कनेक्टेड विद द पंप एंड वन बॉयलर इज देयर टू बॉइल द वॉटर दिस इज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड विथ पंप आफ्टर दैट इट इज कनेक्टेड टू द टर्बाइन ओके एंड टर्बाइन इज कनेक्टेड टू द जनरेटर एंड थ्रू दिस जनरेटर वी कैन गेट द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी एंड डाउन साइड ऑफ इट हियर कंडेंसन इज देयर टू कन्वर्ट द स्टीम इन टू द वॉटर नो लेटेस्ट सी द नेक्स्ट वन पॉइंट अरेंजमेंट इन पॉवर प्लांट बेस्ड ऑन एनर्जी ऑफ नैचुरल गैस नाउ हियर वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन यूज द नैचुरल गैस फॉर द एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन हियर कॉम्प्रेसर फॉर प्रेशराइज एयर वॉट इज द वर्क ऑफ द कॉम्प्रेसर इट इज यूज टू और प्रेशराइज एयर इज फॉर्म्ड बाई द कॉम्प्रेसर बाई यूजिंग द कॉम्प्रेसर प्रेशराइज एयर इज इंसर्टेड इन टू द कंबशन चेम्बर एंड इन दैट नैचुरल गैस इज बर्न विच गैस इज यूज हियर नैचुरल गैस इज बर्न इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एयर आफ्टर द बर्निंग ऑफ दिस नैचुरल गैस having high pressure and having high temperature gas is released this gas when derived on the turbine at that time blades of the turbine starts to rotate here name given to the turbine as a gas turbine why because to derive the blades of the turbine having the high temperature and high pressure gas is derived on it so the name given as gas turbine it means turbine is derived with the help of gas so the name given as gas turbine it is connected to the generator and this uh, in this generator the kinetic energy is get converted or whatever magne uh, magnet is present in the generator it starts to rotate with the turbine and with that electrical energy is released or the produced when we want to the energy transformation how it takes place see here chemical energy in natural gas which type of energy is present in natural gas chemical energy in natural gas get converted into the kinetic energy generated due to the combustion of natural gas after the combustion of natural gas whatever chemical energy is present in the natural gas it get converted into the kinetic energy after that this kinetic energy is useful to derive the turbine and this turbine is connected to the generator when turbine starts to rotate with that rotating magnets which are present in the generator that also starts to rotate and from that this kinetic energy get converted into the electrical energy now let us see the next point schematic of power plant based on natural gas see it carefully fuel as a fuel natural gas is useful here after that combustion chamber is there for which purpose to introduce the pressurized air uh, uh, and after that it is connected with the gas turbine here where emission of hot gas occurs and this turbine is connected to the generator by which electrical energy is produced or the released now we will see the next one point hydroelectric energy up to here we have studied about the different types of the power plant but they have some advantages and some disadvantages also so for that to stop these disadvantages there are different uh, forms or of energy are there by which uh, we can produce eco friendly energy in that the first one type of energy is hydroelectric energy which does not cause harm to the environment if we want to uh, give the example related to the 
इको फ्रेंडली एनर्जीज इन दैट हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी विंड एनर्जी इज देअर एंड सोलार एनर्जी इज देअर सो इन दैट द फर्स्ट वन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी हाइड काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन फ्लोइंग वॉटर और द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इन वॉटर रिजर्वर इज द कॉन्वेन्शनल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी इट मीन्स फ्लोइंग वॉटर हैव द विच टाइप ऑफ एनर्जी दे आर काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड वॉट एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज प्रेजेंट इन द वॉटर रिजर्वर दिज बोथ आर द कॉन्वेन्शनल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी इन हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक पॉवर प्लांट द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इन वॉटर स्टोर्ड इन डैम इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू काइनेटिक एनर्जी वेन वॉटर इज स्टोर्ड इन द डैम एट द टाइम विच टाइप ऑफ एनर्जी इज प्रेजेंट इन दैट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज देयर सो दिस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ वॉटर वेन फास्ट फ्लोइंग इज ब्रॉड फ्रॉम द डैम टू द टर्बाइन एट द बॉटम ऑफ द डैम द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द फ्लोइंग वॉटर ड्राइव्स द टर्बाइन द टर्बाइन इन टर्म ड्राइव्स द जनरेटर टू जनरेट द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी द here you can see the block diagram showing the different components of hydro electric power plant see here water reservoir with potential energy after that whatever water is stored in the dam when it starts to flow on uh, uh, on the turbine it get converted into the whatever potential energy is there it get converted into the kinetic energy this water turbine is con connected to the generator when blades of the turbine starts to rotate it also derives drives the generator and it is useful to convert the mechanical energy or whatever kinetic energy is there it get converted into the electrical energy now here you can see the electricity generation using uh, here you can see energy transformation in hydro electric power plant see how energy transformation takes place potential energy in water get converted into the kinetic energy in flowing water okay after that this kinetic energy in flowing water get converted into the kinetic energy in turbine and this kinetic energy in turbine by using the generator get converted into the electrical energy now we will see the some natural gas based power plant and their capacity here name of the place is written in front of it states written and in front of it capacity of that uh, power plants are written in that the first one place is samar samral kota which uh, he, this place is where in which state in andhra pradesh and the capacity of this power plant is about 2620 megawatt after that the second place is anjanwe this place is uh, at which state in maharashtra and the capacity of this power plant is 2220 megawatt after that bawana state is delhi and the capacity of this power plant is 1500 megawatt the next one is kondapalli the state is andhra pradesh and the capacity of this power plant is 1466 megawatt now here the next one point is about the schematic of power plant based on the natural gas already we have discussed about but observe it carefully and then we will see the next point now here we will see schematic of hydro electric plant in schematic of hydro electric plant you can see a uh, dam is here where uh, water is stored it is connected with the here uh, sluice gates are present after that turbine is there turbine is connected to the generator and it is connected to the power house where large amount of energy is produced now we will see the advantages of hydro electric power generation now which are the advantages are there in that the first one is since no fuel is burnt in hydro electric power generation there is a no pollution resulting from the combustion of fuel after that if there is sufficient water storage in the dam it is possible to generate electricity as and when necessary and the third one is although water reservoir is used for power generation it can be 
replenished during rainy season leading to uninterrupted power generation now we will see the problems associated with hydroelectric power plant the backwater due to the storage of water in dam may submerge villages or towns in that area this leads to the problems of rehabilitation of the displaced population moreover this can also submerge forest as well as fertile land this is the first one problem is there which is arised because of the hydroelectric power plant and the second one is the obstruction of the flow of river water may have adverse effect on living world in the river now this is the uh, picture of uh, koina dam where it is present uh, the state of this place is maharashtra and the capacity of this uh, dam is uh, 1960 megawatt now let us see the power plant based on the wind energy so here we will discuss about the electricity generation using wind energy in this plant wind energy is used to generate the electricity the machine which converts the kinetic energy of wind to the electrical energy called as wind turbine as the wind strikes the blades of the turbine what wind strikes the blades of turbine the blades starts to rotate and the axle of the turbine is connected to the electric generator through a gear box the axle of the turbine axle where is it is present in the turbine and it is connected to the electric generator through a gear box thus the rotating blades drive the turbine and the turbine in turn drives the generator to generate the electricity the various stages in the wind energy generation system can be shown in figure now observe this figure carefully here you can see the schematic of wind mill here you can see gear box is there which is connected to the generator and uh, down side of it shaft and for support one uh, uh, that bearing is there and blades here side you can observe now see the wind turbines with capacity right from less than 1 kilowatt to about 7 megawatt 7 megawatt means 7000 kilowatt are commercially available depending on the wind velocity available at the site of installation wind turbine with specific capacity the wind energy means velocity at specific location depends on many geographical factors and wind velocity is usually high on sea shores where it is very high on sea shores and that environment is appropriate for installation of wind turbine now see here stages in electric generator using wind energy wind with required velocity ha huh? after that it is connected to the wind turbine with large fins here it is connected to the generator and from this generator electrical energy is produced and how transformation of energy takes place kinetic energy in wind get converted into the kinetic energy in turbine and this kinetic energy in turbine get converted into the electric energy now the next one and the third one uh, source for the electric power station is electric energy generation using solar energy how we can use the solar energy for the production of electricity related to that these points are there there are two methods are as follows okay which are that two methods in first method electrical energy can be generated directly from the solar radiation in first method electric energy generated directly from the solar radiation and in solar photovoltaic cells convert the solar energy directly into the electric energy now what is the meaning of solar photovoltaic cell solar photovoltaic cell means which convert the solar energy directly into the electrical energy 
इन सेकेंड मेथड द एनर्जी इन सोलार रेडिएशन इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू थर्मल एनर्जी फर्स्ट द इन सेकेंड वे मेथड वॉट एवर सोलार रेडिएशन आर देयर दैट फर्स्ट कन्वर्टेड इन टू थर्मल एनर्जी एंड आफ्टर दैट देन अ टर्बाइन जनरेटर सिस्टम इज ड्रिवन यूजिंग दैट थर्मल एनर्जी टू जनरेट द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओके सो टोटल टू मेथड्स आर देयर इन फर्स्ट मेथड बाय यूजिंग द सोलर फोटो होल्टिक सेल द वॉट एवर सोलर रेडिएशन आर देयर दे कैन बी डायरेक्टली कन्वर्टेड इन टू द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी एंड इन सेकेंड मेथड द सोलर रेडिएशन इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू फर्स्ट थर्मल एनर्जी एंड देन टर्बाइन जनरेटर सिस्टम इज ड्रिवन यूजिंग दैट थर्मल एनर्जी टू जनरेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नाउ वी विल सी द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द सोलर फोटो होल्टेक सेल सोलर फोटो होल्टेक सेल कन्वर्ट द सोलर रेडिएशन एनर्जी डायरेक्टली इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द सोलर फोटो होल्टेक इफेक्ट द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी जनरेटेड थ्रू धीस एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेस इज डी सी इन नेचर नाउ डी सी मीन्स वॉट डायरेक्ट करंट इन नेचर एंड मेनी सोलर पैनल्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज एंड इन पैरल to generate required current and the potential difference many solar cells come together to form a solar panel and many solar panels connected in series to form solar strings it means solar panel how we can form it when many solar cell join together it forms the solar panel and when we want to form the solar string at that time many solar panels connected in series to the to form the solar string many solar strings connected in parallel form a solar array solar array means what where many solar strings connected in parallel form it is known as the solar array now he you can observe here conversion of energy generated by cells to ac form by using inverter now what is the main function of inverter inverter is useful to change to convert the dc current dc into the ac current so ac means what alternate current here solar cell is connected to the battery battery is useful to store the energy which is connected to the inverter where dc current converted into the ac current because mostly our all equipments are depend upon the ac current and this through this inverter electric equipment working on ac power here you can see the schematic of solar photovoltaic station inverter and transformer are there and which uh, by which uh, we can produce the larger amount of energy by the power grid and you can see the structure of solar array also now let us see the next one point solar thermal power plant we have seen that thermal energy generated from coal and nuclear fuel and it can be used to generate the electricity thermal energy can also be generated from the solar radiation and can be used for the electricity production different stages in such solar thermal power plant are as shown in figure it means first we can convert this solar radiation into the thermal energy and this thermal energy we can use to uh, produce the electrical energy now related to that one chart is there observe this chart carefully what you can see different stages in solar thermal power plant now let us see the solar thermal power plant we have seen that thermal energy generated from coal and the nuclear fuel and it can be used to generate the electricity here thermal energy also be generated from the solar radiation and can be used for the electricity production different stages in such solar thermal power plant are shown in figure so observe these different stages in solar thermal power plant in that for in first box you can see there are the concentrators for collecting the sunlight so as a concentrator here glass or the any transparent plastic is useful for it after that there are the absorbers for the absorbing the concentrated sunlight where in this uh, absorber or in this absorbing uh, stage whatever light energy is there it get converted into the heat energy after that 
steam turbine is connected there it means it is connected to the water tank by which water starts to boil and whatever steam is produced it derived on the turbine and from that whatever blades of turbines are there that starts to rotate this steam turbine is connected with the electric generator and this in this electric generator whatever kinetic energy is produced by the turbine it get converted into the electric energy now see the schematic of solar thermal power plant if you will see here solar panels are you can see in middle by which solar energy is there by the absorber whatever light energy is there is there it is absorbed by the glass material or the transparent plastic material it is connected to the water tank also by which flow of hot water or absorbers are there it means side by side we can get the hot water also and side by side we can get the large amount of energy also through the power grid if you will see this solar panel is connected to the pump cooling uh, tower is there condenser is there which is connected to the turbine turbine is connected to the generator and from that whatever steam is produced through the water it is useful to rotate the turbine and it is useful when uh, blades of the turbine starts to rotate there whatever magnets are present in the generator they also starts to rotate to form the electric energy so this is the schematic of solar thermal power plant now it is the last point of the lesson so we will stop here thank you